Welcome to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham Insurance and Financial Services. This show focuses on sharing good news and powering the good in our community. Now here's your host, City Current CEO, Jeremy Park. Welcome back to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference, empowering the good, and we love talking about Habitat for Humanity and the power of home ownership. That's why we're honored to have with us Hannah Segmiller, Homeowner Services Manager with Habitat for Humanity, Williams and Murray. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. Thank you, Jeremy. Absolutely. So we have a lot to talk about when you talk about the power of literally handing over the keys to a homeowner. There's a lot of you know magic in what you do in terms of engaging the community, volunteers, there's so much to unpack, but let's start with a little bit of history. Give us some history for Habitat for Humanity, Williamson Murray. Okay. Um, so our affiliate has been around for 30 years. We just celebrated our 30th anniversary last year. Um, but Habitat for Humanity as a whole has um, been around since 1976. Um, so since that time around the world and all over our country, We've helped over 59 million people um, in over 70 countries actually improve their living conditions, which is amazing. Um, here in Middle Tennessee, uh, we've made a really big impact. Um, well over 300 homes that we have built or repaired here in uh, the southern Nashville area, which is wonderful. Let's talk about what you do because it's a lot. And I think a lot of people see one side, but there's a yeah. lot of sides. And so let's start with kind of the beginning on the financial literacy, the homeowner like resources and classes to equip them. And then we'll talk about the uh, financing and the building. Yeah. So um, we are in the business of preparing people for success. Um, so Part of that is financial literacy. Um, so during our program, our future home buyers are required to do anywhere from 200 to 280 hours of sweat equity. That includes building on their home and other people's homes, and then completing um, financial literacy and first time home buyer education. Um, all of our partner families have never bought a house before. Um, and so there's a lot of new terms, um, new things that they've never, ever seen before. A lot of them, this is their first major asset they've ever bought. Um, so we are digging into what that means, how to budget for um, having a mortgage for the first time, um, learning the maintenance and upkeep of a home for the first time. Um, they don't have a landlord. So um, it's a big change for a lot of them. Um, so the program can take anywhere from a year to two years, making sure that they're really ready for this next step in their life. And just like you said, you want to equip them for success. And when you think about, you know, having a home, just like you're talking about, it's one thing to, you know, be able to step into it, but then another to upkeep. And like you say, I mean, all the, you know, fixing things, electric bills, like there's so much that goes into home ownership. You want to make sure that they really are equipped for success in the future to be able to maintain their home. And I think Absolutely. that's a big piece of it that uh, goes into it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and dive into when you talk about like a first time home buyer and you mentioned them being a first time home buyer. Yeah. Talk about the kind of the way it works on the financing because like this is a, a a misconception in the public, but it's also a very uh -huh. important piece of the success for how yeah. you're able to do what you do. So talk about that and then kind of what you're looking for on the home buyer side in terms of the qualifications. Okay, absolutely. Um, so yes, a common misconception is that we give away houses for free. Um, and we do not, all of our partner families purchase, um, their house at an affordable mortgage. Um, we're very unique in the way that we're, um, able to do our lending. Um, I would say we, we come up with creative solutions. Um, we remove the down payment and we, we customize the mortgage payments so that they're never over 30% of a family's, um, 30% of their monthly gross income. Um, and so we do that through a lot of different ways. Um, you could, we could be here all day, honestly, for me, each family is different. And so how we dig into making that possible with lending um, is it just depends on the family. Um, as far as the, the qualifications, we are still a lender, even though we're untraditional. Um, 
I, like I said earlier, we're equipping them for success. So we want to make sure that they're able to um, demonstrate the ability to afford this mortgage payment and then all the other household expenses that come along with that. Um, we are an income-based program. We are serving um, the low to middle income um, families in our area. So we do have income requirements. Um, we do have credit score requirements. Um, we want to be able to trust that people can can pay back um, the, the mortgage that we are lending to them. Um, we do have debt to income ratio requirements, um, just like a, a traditional lender would have. Um, they may just look a little bit different. Um, you have to live or work in the counties that we serve. Um, so we predominantly serve Williamson and Murray counties. Um, however, even though we don't build in some other counties, um, like Hickman, Decatur, and Lawrence, we do accept um, individuals and families into our program from those counties that may want to move um, to the place where they're currently working. Um, and you have to have lived in those counties for at least 12 years or 12 months. So you need to um, already be a community member here. Um, you need to be at least 18 years or older. Um, and we also have some, some criminal background check requirements for our general eligibility. Um, so that's a pretty brief overview, um, but each family is different. I always encourage people to apply if you're unsure, um, if you would qualify, give us a call or just go ahead and apply. We can review and see, see what's going on and, and if we're a good fit and if not, how we could work to um, make it possibility in the future. Let's talk about now the side that a lot of companies see, which is the volunteer side and, you know, out there helping to build the homes, which is a really special piece of the equation in terms of engagement with the community. So talk about that process. Yeah, we could not do what we do without the community and our wonderful donors and sponsors um, and our, and our volunteers who are often also our donors and sponsors, um, that come out on the build site, um, we need hands to build these homes um, and we need dollars to, to build these homes. Um, so our, our sponsors and donors um, contribute to the building material cost um, of, of building a new construction home from the ground up. So if people are interested um, in getting involved with their, their company or even on an individual basis, um, I definitely encourage them to re reach out to our development team. Um, Emily is our Emily Gaphart is our development manager here, um, and you can always contact her at our office, and, and she's the person to talk to for that. Yeah, and to your point, so so many companies will step in and, and they'll sponsor and they'll help, you know, underwrite the cost. And, you know, the costs across the board are skyrocketing, right? And that's no different in terms of when you look at building a home and being able to help lift the community and then having the team come out and volunteer. And it's a it's a really special experience. I mean, we've done yeah. it many times to go out and uh, and help build these homes. And you don't have to have all those skills. You've got your team that oh, helps. Yeah. So it's like you can go out there as someone who you know, is, is learning, but mm -hmm. is it's fun. It's awesome. It's teamwork. It's teaching you new skills. Um, it's a really cool experience. And then it culminates obviously with then handing the keys to the family. And so talk about that special experience. Oh gosh, that's a favorite part of my job. Um, these families put so much work into, um, receiving this house, um, and, and buying this house for their family. I mean, we're talking, over a year of countless hours and um the the emotional side of it too um it's hard we're we're really digging into a lot of really personal stuff with people um and then just like the volunteers are these families are out on these build sites they are blood sweat and tears um building a house so um at the very end to be able to hand over the keys is so meaningful um and knowing that these families put in the work to get them to this point um, and to be able to see that dream become a reality. Um, there's truly nothing like it. We, we just recently um, did a, a dedication for a family, um, for little kids. Um, they have never had their own room before. In fact, for the past a little over a year, all six family members have been living in one bedroom. Um, and his family is now all four kids get their own room for the very first time. And, and, you know, not just the parents, but these kids, I mean, they all sacrificed um, during the program to, to make this come true. And, oh my gosh, it's just, 
it's life changing. It's completely life changing. And to know that these kids will will grow up in an environment that will set them up for success too um, is just it's incredible. Yeah, I mean, you look at what that means for their learning, for their confidence. I mean, all of that. And so carry that into this ripple effect because. Affordable housing is a challenge in Middle Tennessee, in most major cities, uh, just about every major city, you know, affordable yeah. housing. And when you look at then the cost and the you know ability to step in, mm-hmm. the home ownership, the pride it builds in the community, the stability it builds, mm-hmm. the ability for the youth, like we're talking about, to have a solid family dynamic where they can learn and thrive. Like there's a lot of ripple effects for what you're doing yes. that carry over generationally to help transform the community. So talk about that from your lens. Yeah. I, I mean, you said it perfectly. Um, the stability is the major thing. A lot of these kids um, are growing up moving from apartment to apartment every single year. That means changing schools potentially. Um just having to pick up and and move all your things, change all your friends, um, it has a big effect on on their lives, um, and not just them, their parents as well. Um, it's it's difficult. It's hard to to build roots, um, and having roots then ripples into um, having a better education, um, being able to not worry about okay, in a year from now, is my rent going to increase to a point where I can't. Um, meet some of my other financial goals. So having, you know, a set mortgage and knowing exactly what to expect for the next 30 years is really important um, for these families to better themselves and better their future. Um, We have so many success stories of kids um, that have gone on to do amazing things. And in fact, we actually have somebody in the program now. Um, This is a really special story. Um, Her mother is a Habitat homeowner, um, and now she has been accepted into the program um, for her and and her kids um, to also be able to have this experience and own their first house. Um, And she attributes a lot of that to watching her mom go through the program and be able to provide that stability for her and her siblings um, to now in turn um, she's able to go through the same experience and provide that for her kids. And it's just an an ongoing generational effect. And it's amazing. Talk about plans, goals. When you look at, you know, finishing out 2024, what does that look like in terms of numbers, family served, application yeah. timing, and then for 2025 building forward, like what are some of those kind of goals and metrics on your end? Yeah, for sure. So we are actually breaking, we just broke ground on a new neighborhood in Columbia, which we're very excited about. Um, It's going to be a 16 lot neighborhood. So we are in the land development phase right now. And then looking towards the fall, we'll be able to build our first four homes in that development, um, which is really exciting. Um, We have another neighborhood um, in Columbia that we've been developing. We were able to close on the first four homes of that one in this uh, past fall um, slash winter season. Um, So that's really exciting. We're we're really grateful to be able to be a big impact in Columbia and in that community that um, has been underserved in the affordable housing um, area, that space for a while. Um, so those are kind of some of our big projects, um, that we are looking forward to. And then looking into 2025, we'll really be developing out these neighborhoods, hoping, um, to serve hopefully 10 to 12 families, um, by the end of 2025, which is amazing. How can the community help your efforts? Because you mentioned sponsorships on one side, corporate Mm -hmm. sponsorships, donations, volunteers, getting the word out. So how can the community help? Dollars. (laughs) Dollars. <laughs> I that is the biggest way that um, we can receive support right now. So whether that's through a corporate sponsorship or an individual donation, we have a really cool monthly giving program called Beam, um, and so individuals and families can sign up to um, donate monthly to us. That goes directly to our our um, building costs. The other really cool way that uh, the community can get involved is our restore. Um, so we have a secondhand store, actually a lot of um, the furniture and appliances that we sell in that store are brand new. Um, and people can come in and, and purchase new things. They can also donate um, 
there's a lot of people moving here. A lot of things that um, people are trying to get rid of. Please consider the ReStore to donate those things to um, all of the, the proceeds um, from the ReStore go to our organization. Um, and they help us keep the lights on here so that the individual donations that come in go directly to our mission. Um, so that's a really great way to support us. Um, and if they would love to come out and volunteer, we would love to have people come out. Um, you can look at our website um, or call our main line and all the opportunities are listed out there, um, pretty detailed of ways to get involved. Yeah, and the ReStore, I'm glad you mentioned that because you can yeah. volunteer there and there's all sorts yes. of you know amazing finds uh, in the ReStore, the Habitat yeah. ReStore. So I up with... have shopped there a lot. They have great stuff. Yeah, you can find some just amazing stuff. And so talk about website, social media, right. where do we go to learn more, to reach out, to get involved? Yes, absolutely. So our website is www.hfhwm. Dot org. So that is Habitat for Humanity, Williamson Murray in acronym form. Um, and if you want to stop by, our office is here in Franklin. Um, we're just off of Mac Hatcher. Um, we always welcome people to stop by to inquire about either applying um, or getting involved. Um, our Instagram is at HFHWN. Um, we're also on Facebook. Um, so find us there. We're always posting about our new projects and, um, upcoming fundraisers and, um, all the events that we're involved in, in the area. Makes it easy. So the website again, hfhwm.org. And obviously that stands for Habitat for Humanity, Williamson Murray. So Hannah, thank you for all you and your amazing team do. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. We appreciate you giving us the time to, to talk about our mission. Higginbotham Insurance and Financial Services is proud to power the City Current Show. We're a people-first company that protects what matters most, the families, businesses, and trailblazers that keep our community going. As one of the nation's top independent insurance firms, Higginbotham is a single source solution for business insurance, employee benefits, HR services, and personal insurance that's customized for you. We're here to serve you, the people you care about, and your community. Call 866-377-1959 or visit Higginbotham.com.